It's a go-to spot to cool down or de-stress, but the Merrimack is powerful and it appears too many are underestimating its power and the power of water overall. As we join you tonight at 6 o'clock, nearly a dozen people have drowned in our area in recent days. Tonight, rescuers have a message for you. Be alert, be aware, be safe. News 4's Emma Hogue reports on the concerns buoyed by repeated dangerous actions. Right now, first responders from multiple counties are warning others of what they call the silent killer. Drownings that happen so quickly, these victims don't have time to yell for help. With rescue and recovery calls on the rise, first responders hope their warning today helps save other lives. The first thing I always think about is family, you know, who's there. As a captain for Metro West Fire Protection and a dive team leader, Matt Sager knows during a rescue every second counts, but oftentimes drownings happen too fast. We're talking minutes by our time our team mobilizes, by the time we get there, even if it's 20 minutes, you know, unfortunately, a lot of times it's too not too late to do a rescue, but we're able to do that recovery for the family. Captain Sager responded to two rescues that became recovery missions last week. One claiming the life of a 14 year old boy who was swimming at Creefcore Lake. The other was 35 year old Terrence Johnson, who first responders say jumped off a train trestle into the Merrimack River. His mom, Carla Marks, says her son was even a good swimmer. I'm still in denial because I'm still waiting to see him walk through the door. You know, wanting it, you know, wanting to see him, but I know that's never going to happen again in this lifetime. It's very difficult. Uh, it's very stressful for the divers when you come upon somebody that's been down there. It's it's not something that you can see in advance and come up to them. You unfortunately you kind of find them. Sager says the water was murky and brush made the dive to find Johnson even dangerous for his team. Johnson's death is one of 11 drownings so far in our area this year. Tonight agencies across multiple counties are pleading for people to stay out of dangerous waterways and to always wear a life vest to bring the people home to their family. That's that's why we do what we do. Uh, again, we, we can't fix gone, but what we can do is fix lost, and that's why we do what we do. Oftentimes, these rivers look serene from afar, but the undercurrent is so strong, even veteran swimmers can struggle. We're told with most of these recent drowning cases, the victims weren't wearing life vests. Reporting in Eureka tonight, Emma Hogue, News 4.